Coronavirus 2020. It sucked. For over a month, millions of Americans were unable to leave their homes, go to work, or even hang out with friends. And even now, as we slowly begin to get back to normal, most of us are still pretty pissed off at the strict measures crammed down on us by the government. However, in light of the actions taken by other nations, perhaps we should start to feel pretty lucky that we were quarantined here in America. China, the birthplace of the notorious COVID-19 virus, has never been known for its positive track record for human rights. Their approach to coronavirus has also been condemned by many nations and has been labeled the beat it out of them tactic. Italy, as a nation known to have had a very severe impact from the virus, it is no surprise that Italian authorities have struggled to keep up with demand for medical care and in some cases have even been forced to turn to the notorious mafia syndicates for aid. Tony, Tony, Tony. You knew the rules, Tony. You knew you're supposed to be a socially distancing. But what did you do? Oh, you go out and you have a good time on a town, Tony. You have a great big time. And then you come back and you give a corona to grandmama. Now she did! She did! You killed the grandmama, Tony! <coughs> <coughs> Who's gonna make a spaghetti now, Tony? Huh? Who's gonna make a spaghetti now for us? We're gonna starve to death, Tony! Okay, I can't eat no sandwiches. Forget about it. <coughs> <laughs> You're breaking my heart, little brother. Perhaps the most unorthodox approach, though, may be the South African government's use of wildlife management resources to thin out the virus. Release the lion! <laughs> So the next time you feel like you've been cooped up for way too long, just remember, it could be far worse. Just be grateful that you were quarantined right here in the good old U.S. of A.